we've made um, enhancements to the Smart Select tool, so it'll become a little more predictable in how it works. Uh, many of you know that when you use a Smart Select tool, uh, right here, Smart Selection from the bar up here, the idea is that you click and, and you click and hold, and as you drag up or down on the screen as a gesture, it will select more or less data branching out from where you are based on um, some crease angle and filtering triangle edge filters there. So the idea here is you can click and drag up and you see if you go too far it'll just keep going to where it will select everything eventually. So if I drag up, 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 it'll go pretty much everywhere. And then if I drag back down, you'll see that it just removes from the selection. It just keeps going back and forth. So we improve the performance of that and the ability. Another thing that you can do is you can hold shift and add to that selection, but you don't get the ability to drag back down, at least right now. So you see that I can, I can shift select and do it again, but don't plan on going back down when you're done. So if I, if I do that, I'll just try this one more time. So I'd go all the way up and then I'll just come to this side. And if I go a little bit too far, let's say I go too far and then I drag back down, you'll notice it doesn't remove. So that's something to be aware of. But you can always combine this with another tool where you click and drag and then it will let you hold control and click and remove areas like this, which is kind of interesting. Um, but most of the people, what they will do is then toggle over to another tool. And if I hold control and remove and turn off my visibility there and select it. So that is the Smart Selector tool and a little bit of how that works.